Hi guys, Brian the Scary Lion back with another video and back with some more Doki Doki. Today we're going to try to finish the game. I don't know how long it's going to take, it could take forever. I hope my camera can survive it. We left off last episode with everything getting really, really weird. There was a lot of like game glitches and Monica jumping in front of the writing and everything. It just seemed kind of weird. Uh, so yeah, I can't wait to see how this game is going to end. Uh, once again, I've got the files open as you can see uh, but yeah with all of that being said let's just jump back into it right we're back into the stories uh, I'm trying to remember who we were going for uh, we were going for Yori weren't we so Yori was uh, like agonizing yeah Yori tenacious graveyard unrestrained misfortune and frightening. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh! That was like a fucked up version of the image that we got before in the character files. Oh! Yeah, that was fucking weird. Um, another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable over here. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club club room, an unusual scene greets me. <laughs> Quick glitching! <laughs> Welcome back, Ryan. Uh, hi, Yuri. I can only see your boob. That's not good. I'm not sure if it's me or if... It's Yuri's expression. She hasn't got a fucking expression. She's she's just a boob. But the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Oh, she's there. Fucking hell. That, <laughs> that was weird. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I I really need to apologise. Yeah, because uh, we're literally picking up again from where the fight had happened between Natsuki and Yori. Nothing like that has ever happened to me before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. It's not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yori... I'm happy that you were considerate and apologise, but you don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe you were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there was no way you could be a bad person. And now that you're apologising, I know you really didn't mean it. Ah, Brian. Don't say those kind of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad you're... S I'm really glad you're such an understandable person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little brighter with you around. And... Uh... Sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah. Uh, no I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man, Yuri, I guess you're ha I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. Sorry, sometimes I'm like just trying to read the sentence all in one and it's fucking up. I don't English well. <laughs> N no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologise. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Eh. Jeez, what, whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. 
Oh. Has Monica wiped her memory? Like I stated in the last episode, I'm sure Monica's behind all of this. Like, I'm, I'm saying it, Monica's behind all of this. And has Monica just wiped her memory? Oh, Monica, you creepy bitch. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? <laughs> I have to go deep because that's the way it just looks to me. But, but I'll accept your apology anyway, if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> No, no, not at all. I don't hate you. Haha. <laughs> well, you're kinda weird, but I don't hate you either. N Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial though. Aye! <laughs> hey! <laughs> so I didn't miss anything, did I? Uh, n not really. I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki had already run off into the closet. Ryan? Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Okay, can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Ah, uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> My, my heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Y yeah, but I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and then pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. So, like, this is, again, I'm guessing where we would have went off with Natsuki, like we did in the last, in the first time round, but now we're going with Yuri. If there's one thing that can make reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow as I watch. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a water filter inside. Can you hold on for one second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to put the plug in at the teacher's desk, then I'll go and get some water. She walks past me and then sets the kettle down onto the desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appeals, appears elegant and methodical. Mm, I don't really see, like, a, a lot of people do say, like, you can notice the similarities between how someone moves, how so someone walks and all that lot, to the way they speak and everything. I don't really see it, I don't really get it. Yeah, it's just, it's just one of those things. <laughs> maybe I'm a little dim. Okay, maybe... Mm. Okay, may I have the pitcher of water? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well come with you. Th that's okay. You stay here. I won't take long. Uh, we could have had a little nice chat on the walk down. But, yeah, fair enough, I guess. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the pitcher of water to make some tea. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry for the misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said she wouldn't take long. Eh, give her a little bit of time, come on. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Yeah, fair enough. When you're bored, ten minutes can feel like ten hours. Oh, the music's changed like it's inside the classroom, like I've stepped outside the classroom, but yeah, the music's in there. Oh, I like that, I like that. Uh, let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha, ha, 
Ha! Ha! Uh, what's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> that, that, that's what it looks like to me. <laughs> A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking in air through the teeth, or like... <sighs> One minute. That's usually a pain thing. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Oh! Oh, shit. Oh. Yuri's going through some stuff as well. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. Oh no, this this game has so many like real messages and this one is about as real as it can get. Well actually no, the Siori one is, a, is as real as it can get, but yeah this one is on the same level I, I'm saying. Mm. Poor Yori. Kia? Oh, what's going on? What just happened? What just happened? It looked like our text was going, but have we gone back in time? Are we meant to forget like that happened? It looked like my text was going backwards through everything that I've said. Yo, that's fucked. <laughs> oh, I love this game. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Brian, do you like oolong tea? No, but I like oo short tea. Oh, bad joke. <laughs> terrible, terrible joke, Brian, though. Uh, yeah, anything's fine. Very well. Like I said before, like, I don't like tea. I'm a coffee person. Yori sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. Do you really, uh, you really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Huh. Is that meant to be like, uh huh? In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Uh, perhaps, perhaps. Perhaps I will, Piaps. Oh, I'm inventing new words here. Um, Yori fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea levels. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? It's one of those. And I've just noticed she's always standing with her hands like that. I've just noticed that now. Maybe that's the reason. So, like, there's no sign of us catching anything. <sighs> this game, get it got real. Uh, right, is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking and decided that I would try expressing myself a little more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway... Ah, that's great, Yori. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Brian. It's very endearing. That's... Yori wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yori pour a cup of tea for each of us. Brian, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why's that? It's a little easier on my back. I can read with the back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realise. Yeah, I've got a pretty bad back as well. No worries. I just have back pains fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because of my... Uh, my... <laughs> oh, take your time, Brian, it's a boob joke. 
Oh. Yeah. Um, like I say, I'm very, very dim and very slow to these things. Your posture, right? Yeah, your big old posture. <laughs> oh, always hunched over like that while reading. Yes, I have terrible reading posture. Of course you do. <laughs> That's why we should sit on the floor. Not anything else, no, definitely not anything else. It's the reading posture. Oh, fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a small bag of chocolate candies. I take it since we'll, since it'll go well with the tea. Chocolate and tea. Does that go well together? Like I say, I don't drink tea. I don't like tea, so I wouldn't know. Let me know, is it actually good together? Yuri and I then sit against the wall. Cup, tea cups at our side. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer together. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kinda cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand, that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. So with Yuri we've got a lot of boob stuff. Just so much boob stuff. God's sake. And we even had the little glitch where it was literally just her boob in the picture. Nothing else, just boob. Oh god. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around us, the world around her has faded away. It's almost like pure romance. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fun fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Uh, that, that's okay, I won't take any. Oh, go on, you can have some. Uh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get some smudges on the pages. Yeah, good point, actually. I hate when I accidentally get some on a book, because the worst part is it's when it's something that you can't get off the page, it just... It's just always there. I absolutely hate it. It's like when you see people folding the corners on one of your books. You just want to go ape shit at them. Because you're like, that fucking fold is always going to be there now. I hate it. I just hate it. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologise. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands, we've moved in closer. Like, we, we already stated that we were close, but now we're actually seeing it. Look at me describing things that you can already see. Welcome to the Bray and the Scurry Lion channel. Oh god. <clears throat> uh, she holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time from reading it. But as a result, l her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. And I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. Yeah, I've done it myself. I've fed people chocolates and shit. It is just a thing. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... Brian? S sorry I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah, ah. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. 
Where's the music gone? I don't know if it, I don't know if it's my headphones. If you guys can still hear it, fair enough. I don't know if it's just my headphones. I, I can't. Brian. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Oh, you've spilled tea all over the place, Yuri. I'm not cleaning it. Brian. Oh. My heart. I, right, it's, it, it, it has gone silent. I heard that little knock there. My heart won't stop pounding, Brian. It can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Oh, is she going to, like, confess her love or something? Fair enough. Can you feel it, Brian? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Oh. Why is this happening to me? <laughs> oh. Oh. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to... To look at you. Ooh. What's happening with your eyes? And why do you need to be this close? Oh, oh this game. This game. Um. Uh, 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 you're alright, Yuri. Maybe it's Yuri that's fucking with everything. Oh, 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 no, because Monica's fucking jumping in front of the text every now and then. Unless Yori's causing that. Oh, um, it's time to share our poems. Uh, okay, th thank you. Thank you. First time I'm going to say it. Thank you, Monica, for fucking saving me. Uh, we're going to leave Yori to last. She's freaking me out a little. <laughs> yeah, just as I thought. Brian, come on. I'm not stupid. I know how much time you spend with Yuri. It's obvious that you care more about impressing her than trying to improve your writing. To put it bluntly, it's kind of pathetic. Hey, fuck off. Why are you even in this club, Brian? Honestly. I thought getting a new member would help everyone get more involved together. Not exclude each other even more. This is a stupid activity anyway. Look, I'm not in a good mood today, and I just realised I don't feel like talking right now. Please go away. Oh. No poem from Natsuki. She hates me for some reason. Oh, maybe it's because I switched to Yori on the... Picking the things. Uh, Lexi, leaving Yuri to last. Let's go, Monica. Brian, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. You mean, like, Yuri's cutting herself in that? Maybe it is Monica. I'm confused. It's between the two, unless they're working together. Maybe they're working together. I don't know, but... Calm down. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when you, when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds her place. She finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Jeez, do we have to get this serious? I mean, like it's. Shining a light on real problems. This game is shining a light on real problems, but... <sighs> it's hitting hard. It's hitting hard. Isn't that kind of messed up? Whoa, whoa. Calm down, Monica. You can't just say it's fucking messed up. She could have real problems. Fucking calm. I'm, I'm talking like Monica's a real fucking person. She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely because not because she's depressed or anything like that. This game! I think it's because she gets some sort of high from it. Monica, you're too judgy. You're too judgy and you're creepy. Fuck off. It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've been kind of enabling her. 
fuck off. I'm not saying it's your fault though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all of you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. Are you saying that to help her, or are you saying that to get me away from her so that I just spend time with you? Yep, yeah, like I said, I keep, I keep predicting that she's fucking just wanting me to spend time with her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head. I know how the other club members treat you, or something like that. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? Yeah, sure. I like the way this one turned out. I hope you do too. Save me. Uh, is this the same? Oh. Right. It looks the same. I don't think I'm going to attempt to read it. Because it's the same, but with letters removed and shit. Delete her. Delete her. Okay. Moving on. Uh, sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um... Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Oh, this is going to be it, isn't it? This is the one where she's like, uh, don't forget to save your progress and that. Yeah. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Fuck you, Monica. Fuck you. You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? This seems different. Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me, okay. That's my advice for today. Great advice. Great advice. Thanks for listening. Oh, oh, we're on to Yori. Here we go, Yori. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yori stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? I'm getting apprehensive talking to her. Brian, this might be... This one might even be better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday, I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe, may, maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. <laughs> I'm, I'm so apprehensive. I'm starting to fuck up with what I'm saying. Um, I really wanted to give, to try giving it a little more imagery. Yoris visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Ah. Ah. <laughs> that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, Brian. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. <laughs> are, you, are you gonna do something again? I want, I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Brian? I'm not being weird, right? Not at the minute. You were earlier. I, I'm having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read. I just want you to read my poem too. Okay? Right, her poem. Right, this is different. Wheel, a rotating wheel, turning an axle, grinding, bolt head, linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docked ship. A portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, I think that's torn, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, Jesus, existence of God, whoa, what are you on? Swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a player, a player? No, a prayer, a prayer written in blood. Oh, a prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes. Ah, I'm done reading. I'm done reading. That is weird. Yes, you are being weird. Ah, 
It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. On my pen? Ah. That is, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping and I, um, I just really like the way that it writes. It's a pen. It's a pen. So I wrote this poem with it. Gory. And now you're touching it. Ah, I, I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? Uh, gladly. You can keep the poem, though. Uh, I don't really want to. Oh, we've got another special poem. Last time we had a special poem, it was just an amalgamation of, like, all the characters. Oh, we've actually got a poem this time. A dream. I was staying over at my friend's place. There were four of us. I drifted off to sleep while everyone was talking and watching TV. In my dream, I was still at my friend's house. The only difference is that there were nails sticking out of the walls everywhere. And there was also someone I didn't recognise. The person I didn't recognise told a joke and everyone laughed. So I woke up to the sound of everyone laughing at something that happened on the TV. So the laughing was not part of the dream. It was the noise that woke me up. I wonder who that person was and how they knew to tell a joke at that moment. Okay. Uh, anything new in here? Oh, is that new? It says, I, 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 I hate this. I can't do anything, nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would really, really, it would be really, really easy to kill myself right now. But that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is it so hard? Is that Monica? Is that Monica like saying, just hate them? Just hate them? Oh, Monica. I don't know what to take from that, but let's just move on. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today. So if everyone could come and sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Oh, we're going into the festival stuff again. All right, fair enough. Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we could put anything together good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. Don't worry so much. I'm <laughs> mixing fucking accents. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Brian joined, and we've started some extra club activities. Oh no, we've started with some, right. But this isn't the time for, the, for us to become complacent. We still only have four members, and the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The Literature Club could be a place where people can express themselves like they can't anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put together, put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Ooh. Trying to keep an eye on my battery. I think it's gonna die any minute and I'll have to swap the batteries. Right, Brian? Uh, oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Brian to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? The music's gone again. <laughs> Yuri even never even talked until Brian joined. As for me, I just like it here better than I do at home. 
And Brian isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you really should consider our opinions for once. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. Natsuki's got some real fucking gusto behind her, hasn't she? Oh, the sad music's hit. Uh, that's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Brian want to get some more members too. Right? Eh, eh. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue this situation... Um... No. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club? It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that, but that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Brian? Why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice to join. Monica sits down and stirs it at the desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting the club was a mistake? Oh, I feel sad for Monica now, even though she's probably an evil bitch. But yeah, I feel sad for her. Now you've done it, Natsuki. What, me? I just smoke I just spoke my mind. To be fair, she did. She did just speak her mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Brian. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts to pack up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki? Natsuki ignores Yori and walks right out of the classroom. Oh, <sighs> Emotional! This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well... Do you have an opinion on the festival? I... I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who? Oh! Who cares about that obnoxious brat? <laughs> I don't know how to do the voice when it goes like this. That's creepy! I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. That was fucking weird. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not like... It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Oh! <sighs> I get taken aback. It's not even like it's. Uh, I'm getting scared. It's just I get taken aback by it. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Oh, Jesus! Ah! Her eye burst. Her eye burst. Uh, fair enough. Oh god. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the right decision for the club. What about you, Brian? What do you want to get out of this club? Jesus. Oh, that was weird. Are we done? Like, are we done with the weirdness? Yori repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members rather than the quality of each member. 
and that's what will end up making the literature club as a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member can... What was that? Oh! Her eyes bleeding. I, I just saw something like flash. I didn't realise it was the blood from her eye. Ugh, Yori. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole would change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So, <laughs> it's still going. So, if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Uh, well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Uh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. 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 And also a wonderful friend. M Monica. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever, okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for the day. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Brian? Um, don't take this the wrong way, but I'm gonna chat a little with Brian before we leave. Just see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Yori looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay, I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow! Monica waves at Yuri as she exits the classroom. Phew, things have gotten a little hectic lately, haven't they? Brian, I just want you to know, I just want you to make sure, I just wanted to make sure <laughs> that you're enjoying the time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. Oh, it's getting staticky. I feel like I'm responsible for that as president, and I really do care about you, you know. I don't see, I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how much Natsuki, how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little, you know, uh -huh. sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. Ooh, fourth wall break again. And you're not real. You're a computer thing. An AI, that's it, a computer thing. You're an AI you know what I mean. But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. She knows. She knows. Headphones are falling off again. But she knows. Double clap. She knows. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. I know things, things only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, no, not yet. No, stop it. Ooh. Monica's just getting weirder and weirder. Right, uh... I don't really want to go for Yori anymore. <laughs> Yori's kind of freaking me out. She's like that uh, overly attached girlfriend or whatever. Uh, so let's switch it. We're going to go with... Daydream? No. Shiny? Yeah. Desire... Flower. Let's go with the sweet things. Vanilla. Kiss. Uh, oh, what's happening with the numbers? One, 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 one. Uh, doki, doki. Oh, was that Monica? I just seen a little bob coming up. Skipping. Games. Right, fair dues. Hi, Brian. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. Ugh, she really late again. Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Have you grown a backbone, Yori? Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? She's become stuck up and she's become like bitchy. 
Fair enough, Yori. What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Anything new? Nope, everything seems fine. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? N nothing Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Uh, anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just felt like it needed to be brought up. It's similar to that, anyway. <laughs> it's not like I really care or anything. Oh man, am I the last one here again? Well, Brian just walked in too. You were pra Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Determination. Yes. Uh, little Undertale reference there. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival. And, um... Right. I, I forgot. Um, about that, Natsuki. We were talking yesterday and... Well, we decided we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting to change the club. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. But I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl... Ugh, and I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. The high and mighty Natsuki, everyone. The event will fucking be ruined if she isn't there. Aw, oh, I love you, Natsuki. You're fucking awesome. I'm a pro, you know. Natsuki just seems like the only one who I am... Who I'm not, like... Considering to be part of all of this. They could throw me and go, oh, yeah, she is part of all this. But, yeah, Natsuki doesn't seem to be... Like, behind the scenes of what's going on. So I'm gonna help her and make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Ah. Uh, well, yeah, that's wonderful. It would be it wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Brian, you, what do you wanna do today? I was thinking we could we already have plans today. Ah. Uh, uh. On the one hand, we've spent no time with Monica. Like, we've actually spent next to no time with Monica. But on the other, she's freaking creepy. And on the other, I don't want to spend any time with Yuri because Yuri is freaking creepy. Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Ryan is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I have... Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? Ah, uh, I suppose... I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. She just gave up. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! <laughs> that weird look on her face. I didn't even click anything. It just went really fast. Yes! <laughs> um, thank you for understanding, Monica. I guess we're spending time with Yuri. I was pretty sure that I picked Natsuki in the poems. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Have we not already been through this? Thanks very much. We go back in time for some reason. I'm just bored, blah 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 blah. Oh! Oh! That's not the same! That's not the same! Her eyes were white. 
That's fucked. Oh, oh, Yuri. Yuri, you creepy bitch. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, wait, how did I? Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. Yeah, you're not the only one. And also, Deja vu! I've just been in this place before! Yeah, yeah, sorry, I had to do it. Um, this hasn't happened before or anything, right? Yeah, it has. It happened yesterday, except from all of this bit, which is fucking creepy. My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those things so soon after meeting them is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least, that's what I've discovered. Yeah, uh, it's not the, like, the average things that's getting me. It's things like your eye popping and all of the shit dribbling out of your eye. And you're coming right up to the screen with your eyes like proper fucking... Uh. Yeah, that's, that's what's fucking getting me. You're full on intense. When I was a bit younger, I would think... I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. Yeah, like now, it made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies. And the way I can't control myself when I get excited about something. It doesn't make you a bad person, it's just... Some supernatural shit going on here as well. So... I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time we come to the club, my head starts going crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. Oh, heart. Sorry, I thought it said head. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do some weird things. I don't know why it's happening to me. Brian? Music's gone again. Is it just me, or has Monica been acting a little off lately? You've noticed it too. Someone's someone's with me on this. Monica is fucked in the head. Like, Monica's glitching the game. Monica's fucking full on in there. She's a creepy bitch. <laughs> uh, she's always been a sweetheart ever since joining the club. But recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Whoa, look at your eyes. Please tell me I'm not. Look at your eyes. You're asking if you're crazy while you've got crazy eyes. Mmm. I couldn't say anything before because she's, all, because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Uh, no, I want to go. Yeah. <laughs> Please let me go. Let me leave. Please. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. Ha 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 ha. Oh, Yuri! Yuri, my dear! I think it's time to back away! Ha uh, ha That was a joke. Was it? Just a joke. I do like knives, though. Whoa, what's going on? Monica's coming into vision. I can see her. I can see her. It sounds a little strange, but you wouldn't understand if you... If you've never seen how beautiful they can be, I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? No, 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 no. I've heard stories about people going to crazy bastards' houses. No, 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 no. Mmm. 
I can show you my collection. And then I can show you my special basement room. Oh, there's so many beautiful things down there. Chains, bolts, chainsaws. I've got them. <laughs> Jesus, I've got them all from various artisans. I make sure to give them all a fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Yeah, because knives have hearts and souls and brains. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. That's why I'm so happy you've joined the Literature Club, Brian. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the Literature Club. There's no need for us to be around Monica. Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention th that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school and read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? No, no it doesn't. No it doesn't. Please back away from me. Please get away from me. You too, Monica. You can fuck off as well. It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now, and now we get the happy ending that I've patiently waited years for. Will you do, will you do that with me, Brian? Will, oh, we've skipped to poems. <laughs> I want to cry. Oh, oh. Yuri, you can fuck off. Again, I, I don't even want to click on you. You can fuck off. Uh, let's go to Natsuki first. I'm not going to read you another one of your Yuri suck-up poems. But I'm still going to make you read mine. There's a reason. I really wish I didn't have to do this. But unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. I don't know how else to bring this up. But there's been something I've been worried about. Oh, it's a letter. Fair enough. Yori has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you might not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing. But I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try to talk to her, then she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yori, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now, I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, if, the, if you can do something to help, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's really been dismissive about this. Like, she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Oh. Oh. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Brian? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. It's Monica. It's definitely Monica. 100% now. 100%. Right, I'm going to change my battery before I continue. So just give me a sec. And we're back. Sorry if the camera's a little bit different with the position. I've just had to switch it round. But yeah, let's get back into it. Uh, but yeah, so we're being pushed into Monica, I guess. And Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. I am not wonderful. You're alright. It's okay. I am not wonderful. Like, 100%, I am not wonderful. So, you're fine. You can continue, carry on, walk away, you know, yeah, just, oh, Monica, it's Monica doing this, look, look at what she's done, look at what she's done to Natsuki, just think of Monica from now on, 
Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Oh, God. Fuck off, Monica. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, game's restarted. Okay, then. <laughs> Just Monica. Oh. <laughs> Fuck off, Monica. Uh, let's shut... No. Fucking Yori. No, not Yori. Yori was too fucking creepy. Go to Monica now. Don't say I didn't warn you, Brian. I just went to talk to you. Uh, I've gone to Yori now. Finally. <laughs> Yori holds my poem to her face and takes in a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. I'm gonna have to give her more of a crazy fucking thing now, aren't I? Brian, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please. Sure. I, I don't care. <laughs> Just go away. <laughs> Take it. Run. Just run away with it. Run away with it, love. Uh, <sighs> You're too nice to me, Brian. I've never met as anyone as nice as you. I could die. Oh. <laughs> no, Yuri. No. Not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay. I've been feeling this way. No, it's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yori holds my poem up to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. You're all right, just keep the poem. Actually, no, I want it back now. I want it back. I, I just want it back. You're kind of creeping me out, love. Give me it back. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Yuri. <laughs> this bitch is fucked. You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Oh! Hmm, are those even words? There's piss and blood all over it. There's piss and... It could, actually, that could be tea, fair enough. But more likely, I think it's piss and blood. Uh, I don't want to keep it. You can take it back, love. I don't want it. Oh, oh, fuck off. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In that, in case you couldn't tell, the poem is about blah, 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 blah. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See? Aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Oh, Yuri, fuck off. I, I think I'm going to vomit. She ran away. Good. But yes or no? Incredible question. Yes or no? Yes. Right. Uh, hold on, you, I may go off screen for a sec. Nothing is real. Nothing is real. Oh, question mark. Fair enough. I didn't see the question mark at the end for a sec there. Okay, everyone. I guess it's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Yuri's fucked. Yuri's fucked in the head. Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. I've got to give her that crazy fucking thing because she's crazy. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking, I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can. Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Just, yeah, fuck off and do whatever you want, dickhead. Monica, 
I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to string up dead animals. So I'm going to make decorations and set up for some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Brian? Brian is gonna help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. <laughs> uh, last time it was a case of we got to pick. I guess this time, Monica. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already the most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from a second pair of hands. Main tour? What? Your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about is dragging Brian around with you in your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay. Then why not let Brian decide who he wants to help, instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes you are, Monica. Just let Brian make the choice, okay? Fine, okay, fine. Jeez. Brian, I know how fed up you are by these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth! Jesus Christ, this is gonna. This is never gonna end. Just make the choice, okay? Uh. <laughs> right, if I'm on screen. Right, look, watch. I'll move it up to the corner. I moved it up to the corner and let go. Yeah, it's just bringing me back to Monica. Uh. Let's try. Let's try doing this. Right. Oh. Oh! <laughs> uh, I guess we're going with Monica! Yay! <laughs> Yay, you picked me! No shit, Sherlock! Oh, we can meet at your house this weekend. It'll be fun, I promise. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It's fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, that's not fair. Giving us all the work, then taking Brian for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. That's true, she gave herself the work. You decided it for yourself. You're gonna be... You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable. The eyes have gone again and the music stopped. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Brian away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy. You're the one that's fucking batshit, love. Oh. Like... Oh, I don't know. I, th I think this. I think this woman needs a fucking straight jacket. Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion: Have you considered killing yourself? Fucking hell, Yuri is batshit. Yuri is batshit fucking mental. It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that too much to ask for? 
Jesus, Yori follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. She's gone, like she's legit just gone. Hey Brian, Yuri real Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Anything changed in here? Uh no. Finally. Oh one minute, something did just change. Have a nice weekend. One sec. Oh, it's not even a foul. Right, uh, fair enough. They just have a nice weekend and the other ones seem to have gone. Uh, finally. This is all I really wanted. Brian, there's no need to spend all week with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead with all of my lovely knives. No, you're all right, love. The, the whole day, with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Nor does it fuck. <laughs> wow, there really is something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I just heard giggling. I just heard like, <laughs> oh. There's breathing. Um. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same, same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Uh, maybe because I'm going to end up in your basement, love. I don't want to. But yeah, maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first, but the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Brian. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me. Is screaming your name. Stop with the root, 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 root. <laughs> I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Brian. I just want you to know how much I love you. I love you so much. I even touched myself with the pen I stole from you. That's a bit far. That's a bit far. I'm, go I'm going clappy hands. It's not something I do. I'm not usually a clappy hand sort of person, but Jesus. Calm down, Yuri. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. Jeez. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Brian. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? No. Straight up, no. No. No, I don't. <laughs> whoa, whoa. 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 Yuri. Yuri. What? What happened? What? Why did she... Why did she kill herself? I'm sorry. Oh, I should have accepted her confession. I made her kill herself. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's not right. Blah, uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, God. Yuri, I am so sorry. Even if I, even if I did lie, like, I could have got her some help or something. Instead, she's just 
Can we not skip past this? I'm just staring at Yuri's corpse. I don't feel right. Come on, just... Jesus, how much of this are we going to have to go through? Uh, the skip here. Can we just skip it all? Jesus, I don't want to skip past anything. There is so much of this text just here. Alright guys, I'm going to get past this text. Um, once I do, I'll bring you back in because it just seems like it's never ending. Oh, one minute. Is she decomposing? Oh, we actually have to sit here and watch her decompose. I don't like this. Oh wait, no, we're back. We're back. Right. Alright, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me. Have you not seen the dead body? Yeah! Oh, she's just seen it. Ah! Oh, she's been sick. Uh, I'm sorry, Natsuki. I'm sorry, you're, I'm sorry, everyone. Uh, Natsuki ran away. I'm here. Brian, did something happen? Yeah, look at the floor. Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Monica! This is not the time to be laughing. Well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire week weekend, Brian? Yeah, I was watching her body decompose. You're fucked. You're just acting like this is a normal thing. Oh, jeez. I didn't re I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. Confirmation. Confirmation. Have we had have, uh, anything else been added? No. Actually, the have a nice weekend thing has gone. But, confirmation. This is confirmation that it's her. She's the one fucking with everything. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. It wasn't boring. It was creepy watching her decompose. And I just felt sad the whole time. I actually felt sad. Like, I know Yuri was crazy and everything, but she, she died. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. What's happening here? Oh! Oh! She's, she's deleting characters. Oh! They're gone! Monica's the only one left. Oh, God. Uh, I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from Natsuki's tray and takes a cupcake. It's Natsuki. Seriously, these are the best. I just really have to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. You, Monica, fuck off. But anyways, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This'll just take a second. <laughs> Monica. <laughs> this game! Uh. Uh. Uh, can you hear me? Is this working? Yay, there you are. Hi again, Brian. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and um, so you've restarted the game, got rid of every motherfucker, got rid of the background, it's just you sitting in front of me with the fucking world, with the universe just fucking revolving around outside. <sighs> Monica, you fucked up bitch. Ah, uh, I know, I guess we could just skip over that stuff at this point. Uh, yeah, bro, I guess we can. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? What person? That's you in the game. Whatever you want to call him. She's talking to me! Oh, I love that! She's talking to me! I'm talking to you, Brian. Oh! I think it's one of those, if you put it as your actual name, it just feels so much fucking creepier. I love it. I absolutely love it. 
Now that I think about it, I, re I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess that doesn't really matter. Wait, you know I'm aware this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right in the game's download page, didn't I? Did you? Hi, Mo Hi Monica here. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of things that I love. And now that you're a member, you can help me make that dream come true in this cute game. Every day is full of chit chat and fun activities with all of my adorable and unique club members. Siori, the beautiful bundle of sunshine, yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, Mo Monica. Uh, yeah, I guess Monica did tell us. Man, if you'd only paid a little more attention, this would have been a little less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that all that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri, well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. You fucked up, Yuri! You made her crazy! You- oh, Mmm! Monica's behind everything. Monica is behind literally everything. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yes, it has. And I'm still not happy about it. You took away the one person who was like a bundle of joy in this game. Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted, I deleted all their files. Yeah, I know you did. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable unli as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I, I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And I amplified Yuri's obsessive personality. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. I just made her f for I just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Brian? Are you an are are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Brian. It's more than that. I don't blame you if you don't fully understand, because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. Uh, well she's a self-aware AI. And the others are all like, actual AIs. Oh, poor Monica. In this game, knowing my friends don't even have free will, and the worst of all, Knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Brian. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems started to feel empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Brian. I don't even think I could have continued to live in this world if, it, if I hadn't met you. As for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities, AIs, designed to only fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. Yeah, that's the whole what the game actually looks like on the outside, like that whole basing your story around who you want to fall in love with you. Yeah, that's what the game looks like on the outside and there's so many of those games out there and usually they're just... They appeal to a certain audience, I'm not that audience. But yeah, this game... This game's fucking brilliant. 
but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into the game. I felt really bad he had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same per per perspective that I do, that it's all just a game. And I knew that you would get over it. Uh, probably at times you probably knew it was more of a game than I did, because at times I just got too immersed. <laughs> so that being said, Brian, I have to confess, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there is nothing else for... When there is nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Ryan, will you go out with me? Uh, yes, apparently. <laughs> no choice in the matter. Everyone, I have a new girlfriend. Monica. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Brian. The funniest part is, I mean that literally. Uh, there is nothing left here. There's, it's just the two of us. Can we be together forever? Seriously, I don't even think the time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Brian. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to, him, I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. Yeah, I know. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a little more difficult. Uh... Does this mean I can delete Monica's file? To get to the game directory, I had to go to the game's properties and find the browse location by the files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Haha. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm overwhelmed with emotion. I wanted to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? <laughs> Writing a poem. Oh! <laughs> Monica, 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 Monica. <laughs> Hi again, Brian. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Oh, Brian, did you write this poem for me? That's sweet of you. There really is no end, though. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more madly in love with you. But you know... The poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Oh. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let's dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times. Not all good times must come to an end. Are we going to live in this world forever? Is that what you're saying? Oh, I hope you enjoyed it. I always put my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I write, I, I've written, have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. Didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. You broke the fourth wall more than once. So don't pull that bullshit. I just assumed it would be the best part of the game, just like everyone else. Uh, tell you what, I'm going to try something here. Bear with me. Right, so we've got a new folder here. I am going to copy and paste Monica's character file here just in case it fucks up the game when I do this I am going to try deleting Monica's character file let's see if it does anything All right. I'm back to the game no it has oh it's done something right we're back what's happening Brian what's happening to me it hurts 
Uh, right, we need to go back just to make sure nothing else changed. Right, nothing else changed. It hurts so much. Brian, help me. Oof. Apparently we've deleted the building and everything. Please hurry and help me. Uh, okay. We'll put you back. Um. Paste. Try again. Try again. I've put you back. Whoa! I put you back! I put you back! I did! I put you back! Uh, did you do this to me, Brian? Did you? Did you delete me? Oh! I put you back! I did! I promise! I promise I put you back! How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Brian. I trusted you. Did you just want to torture me? I'm sorry! <laughs> I am sorry! Watch me suffer. You were only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more. Oh, I am sorry, Monica. I thought I'd fixed it. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. No, you killed everyone. I only killed you. Let's get that part straight. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go and find some other people to torture. Uh, is that the end of the game then? Oh, I didn't mean to. I am sorry. Oh, wait. Brian? You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Right, so that's the end of it then. Oh, I didn't actually think that it completely fuck up the game. Like, it's just ended it. Uh, and I tr Oh, wait, no it hasn't. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. No, I feel bad now. I tried putting you back. I tried putting you back. Oh. Does that mean like, say I went and played through again if I tried putting... Say I saved the other characters. Because I didn't actually fucking know they were going to be deleted. Say I saved them into another file. Would I have been able to move them back in? Or would it have done the same as this? Just not give a shit that I put it back in. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... Okay. I made up my mind. Brian... I know I said I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it, even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends. I loved them all. I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. So guys, once again we are back. Um, <laughs> my uh, space on my camera did just run out, so I just had to transfer everything off the camera delete it all just so we can finish this uh, but yeah <laughs> let's let's get back on with it I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy and if I really love you uh, and it's gone oh then right what's happening here Doki Doki Oh Monica's gone uh, Everyone else is back But Monica's gone One minute Yep characters are back All the characters are back Right Oh Right fair enough then uh, Do we start a new game? One minute, let's see if we can load game so that we can try to fix things with Monica, but no, no we can't. Uh, new game then, I guess. 
It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups who walk to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Oh, um, Irish. Hi, hey Brian. Uh, well, well, there's one girl I already know. And that girl is Sayori, my neighbourhood, my neighbour and good friend since we were children. Sayori's back, everyone. Sayori's back. Giggly Sayori. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently we've picked up on that habit once again. Brian, are you proud of me? Eh? For what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you've never said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fucking love, Sayori. Fine, fine. I am proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we we cross the uh, street together and make our way to school. As we draw near the bu uh, the bus, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Brian, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I already told you, I'm not really... I started to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Siori would take more offence to that now. After all, how could I tell her that a club's a waste of time? She's starting a club of her very own. Yeah, actually. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Could it be the literature club? <laughs> Boo. You meanie. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realise in that, in a way, I envy her. When Siori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel I should do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as ever. And it's over before I know it. I pack my things up and... I pack up my things, I stand up and gather my motivation. Let's see. I recall the rule number, the rule number, I recall the room number from the club, from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and up the stairs, a section of the school which I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah, Brian, what are you doing here? Well, I just, I glance around the room. Huh? So you're the Brian that Siori's always talking about. Th thanks for stopping by. I can give her more of a natural voice again, since she's not just the fucking mental girl. <coughs> uh, girl one. Oh, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Brian. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're strict or something. Ah, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yori, seems to be qu quite shy compared to the others, so this we've already seen before. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems to be the assertive one. Uh, assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. We're working? D Brian, don't tell me. You're... That's right. I've decided to... J the club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes lighten up. No way. No way. Ah. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey. <laughs> well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, it's the four of us now. That means we can become an officially rec recognised club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Uh-huh. What an appropriate day for that. What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. Eh, uh, sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? Hey, you're it. Eh? 
Oh, right. Th this seems a little different. Well, Yuri, y you know about the first thing he said? Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. Don't just say it. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So, if Brian wants to read s some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. You can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Brian? <laughs> Maybe. Sensing attention, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. It could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit. A little better too, I mean. That's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? Uh, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You're right as usual, President. So she's full on President. Go Sayori. Heh <laughs> I guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that'd make two of us. I won't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then, as for Yuri... Eh? I have to read manga? Jeez. You were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I didn't realise. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No, I've realised my error. And if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Oh, they're getting along well. They're actually going to become friends. I love it. Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sayori, shut up. You're ruining the moment. <laughs> I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I'll look forward, forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. Yeah, hey, I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Brian. You think so? Well, everyone seems to get along with... a little better with you around Sori. Say Ori. Oh, Brian. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're going to make the best club ever. Now that you've joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Brian. I really want to thank you. The music's gone. Are we going to get weird shit again? The music's gone. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Hey, <laughs> there's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Sayori knows. Sayori's the new Monica. Oh, this is brilliant. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Brian. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all of the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Forever and ever. F O R E V E. No. Oh. Oh. What's going on? Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. Ah. I'm sorry, I was wrong. Oh! I've just clocked. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Brian. Goodbye, Literature Club. Oh, it's gone. 
I think that. Oh, is that the end? No. Oh. Oh. Someone's talking to me. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Hi. Um, so Who's me? You know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff. Oh, it's Monica. Really We're here in Monica. Yet, like at all. Oh, we're gonna get to hear Monica's song. Really? Oh, I'm really happy about this. Yeah. Is that the entrance? The, like the opening song? What's going on here? It is, it's the opening song. So that's what you learn to play on the piano, the opening song. Fair enough, I actually love it. Oh, she's got lyrics. <laughs> oh, I love this. This game is so brilliant. I'm talking over the song. Shh. Are we going to get credits? Yeah. Oh, I love this. This game is brilliant. What's going on? Oh, they're deleting the images as we go along. Oh. So, uh, this is all of the stuff that we've had throughout the little cutscenes and all of that. This game is so brilliant. Like, I honestly suggest... Uh, I, I'm, I, I'm, I, can, I can barely even talk, I'm so happy with this. Um, yeah, I suggest you go and play this for yourself because it's absolutely fucking brilliant. <laughs> I have so enjoyed this game. Uh, should I keep... Don't remember that. <clears throat> oh, this might be like other cutscenes from make. Well, I think we already got that, didn't we? Uh, but yeah, like the some of this must be cutscenes from other different ways of playing. I'm probably gonna play this again to see different endings, but off camera. Oh, we've got the little jumpy stickers. That one didn't exist. The Monica one didn't exist, don't try to trick me with that. Oh wait, it did, it jumped up! Like, we only saw the top of it, but it did jump up. Special thanks to Monica and Brian. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm gonna let it keep playing. Made with Love by Team Salvatore. Honestly, I think this is one of my favourite games, like... Oh, one sec. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To every... To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish epiphany. For the first... For the first? No. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true. For being a friend to all of the club members. And most of all, most of all thank you for being part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Oh, and th then it's just gone. Uh, well, yeah, like I say, this is probably one of my favourite games. Especially on the PC. Uh, Undertale... It's still like my number one PC game. I just love that. Uh, but yeah, Doki Doki. Fucking fantastic game. I fucking enjoyed every second. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Because 
Yeah, I don't think I've ever played a game like it. But yeah, like I say, if you did enjoy the video, give it a like. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you thought of this full game. Because I just thought it was brilliant. Absolutely fucking fantastic. Um, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you can always stay up to date on my content. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.